What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO <coughs> Gaming and we are here with Trials of Osiris with the TKO team. My brother Candace. Shout out to them. We are 24-0 in this game you are watching. 24 games Trials of Osiris have not lost. And this team is beating us 2-0 something's wrong but i'm gonna show you guys that we are not gonna let this team beat us and i'm gonna show you guys our recipe for success on how we got to 27 and 0 because you guys didn't see the next three games but i will show you the end loot the treasure for all my characters and i will show you guys the clutchest in my opinion from what i've done in trials of osiris with the sniper rifle when i was the last one left and that is, I think, round five of this game, which is at the two minute mark in this video. So if you guys want to fast forward, don't want to listen to me, just want to see the clutch and get the hell out of here, you can do that. I still love you no matter what. Drop a like if you do like it, though. Anyways, so I'm going to show you guys. We are getting sunny side spawn right now. And guys, they're like just mirror your opponents. That is the key to Trials of Osiris. Make sure you mirror your opponents. Think as if you were on the other side where would you want to go because if you played enough trials of osiris games and on burning shrine you spawn on either sunny side or top side now there's usually three routes on this map where you can go right what are the immediate routes you people usually go to they either go all the way on the outsides or they go to the middle so mirror your opponents have your teammates spread out keep an eye on each lane of entry in this map that's what me and my team does majority of the teams you guys will play will play like that they will either rush you bombarding you or they will play conservative and watch lanes now here is the very very clutch round that i was speaking of before um i go all the way left side making sure i take care of this lane candidates takes one out but then he dies. They're both on the right side. Both of my teammates are dead. They're going to go for the revives. They're, no one came to my side. So the most crucial thing, and this helped a lot, was my teammates were dead and they were calling out because the opponents, they glow red when you're dead. So you should be continuously calling out and boom, I'm about to get this headshot. A little premature on the boom, but hey, there's a headshot. One of the guys is down. This guy, I couldn't get. He's hitting me with the thorn. Now, I could have stayed and contested and possibly killed him, but I noticed that there were two red blinkers on my radar, so I have to divert. Now, you guys, don't be scared to utilize the whole map, okay? Knowing that their whole team is now alive, they can't see the red glowy thing for, um, for me. So they don't know exactly where I'm going at all times. So this is where you divert the map and you see if you can start picking people off one at a time or two at a time because, you know, you got to get the, the odds to be in your favor. Right now, this guy is rushing me like an idiot. Boom, he's dead. This guy gets completely destroyed. You guys, Last Word is such a crucial gun in this in this game type. I don't understand. If you're not using Last Word or Thorn, I respect you if you're actually winning. But, like, that's just the sweaty setup right now. You know, that's what we have. And so I'm going for the revive. I took two out. I know the other teammate's going to go revive them. I could have played one-on-one, -on -one, but I didn't. I played smart. I revived my team. We get that kill. Boom, I get that headshot. Come out, quick scope. Boom, I get the next headshot. I'm, like, scumby up in call of duty right now i am going hyphy my team is hyped like we needed that momentum is on our side now got six kills that round it was so amazing like if this was like what i wanted from trials of osiris that adrenaline rush to clutch it for your team and then go on to win and stay flawless it was just absolutely awesome now remember heavy ammo spawns in the first three rounds okay there's usually two things people do either one they stay for their heavy and they guard it two they bombard and rush the other side of heavy don't be scared to pull out the galahorn or the truth you want the best rocket launcher because you know that the other team is going to be using the best rocket launcher i do not believe that heavy ammo machine guns are a smart choice now i failed with those galahorns i mean oh well whatever we still win the round but Remember, guys, do not be scared to do quick swaps. And at the end of the round, go for the special ammo. Go for the special ammo. I'm going to say that one more time. Go for the special ammo. Remind your teammates to go for that special ammo so you have those extra 
extra bullets that can come really really handy let me tell you now i'm on my warlock this was the last character i'm running trials on my first was my hunter the second was the titan and now the warlock and guys i'm sorry i just have to say it um the warlock is just man the if you can't get wins in trials be a warlock I'm telling you right now, okay? There's so many things that you can do that will that will help you. This I I don't think that it's fair. I think the warlock is a little bit too overpowered in both PVE and PVP. That's my opinion. If anyone takes offense to it, I apologize. But guys, I played this game a lot, and I'm sure you guys have too. And I think the players that have really played on each three, all three characters, um, from the get-go, can agree with me that the warlock is pretty OP. But anyways, um, every class has their own perks, so I'm not dogging on any class. Uh, it's it's all good. All right. But anyways, here we are. Um, first time uh, going to the treasure chest with my hunter. Now I showed you guys that game. It was on my warlock. Now I come over here where this is the lighthouse. After you get the nine straight flawless wins, and there's like this barrier keeping me from all that. I want to say it's glimmer. It could either be glimmer or it could be guardian shit. Cause I, I imagine if Guardians shit, they would shit out Glimmer. That's what I imagine. It would hurt, I'm sure. But anyways, so we're going over to the big ass treasure chest. Shout out to Bungie for making the aesthetics of this so beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Like, just it makes you feel so good, so rewarding to come up to this this chest with a parrot on top, and I, you just want to open it and hopefully get something good, man. I I'm just I don't want to spoil it, but I'm just gonna say it. I got the worst luck the worst luck on my first two characters my last character came through i'm gonna show you guys the loot i got from all three and there you go but anyways guys so like i was saying that um i i know a lot of you guys are struggling to get those nine flawless wins one make sure you have a team that is is compatible okay oh by the way once you're done with the chest you come back to uh i think it's brother vance armstrong i think i don't know what his name is but you come here and you turn in your flawless victories and you can pick up all these um you can actually pick them up as you receive each reward but i just picked them up at the very very end i don't really care um and then look i got the trials of osiris sniper rifle i was super pumped because i can't wait to use this it shoots faster i believe than the predator's revenge which is nuts to me the stability is not as good but hey the range is is pretty awesome and the impact is higher as well so that makes a big difference and i open it up on my titan and i get that i was really butthurt nine and that's it i go to my postmaster nothing is there nine passage coins that's it are you freaking serious holy god i was so upset my brother was getting legendary drops up the ass when we were playing uh trials man i was so pissed i was like oh my goodness you're you're, you're nuts man i don't know how you're doing it um but anyway so you come to brother vance and you uh unlock all these um extra things that you get for winning and I'll show you guys, I think I got the, uh, what is it, the feet, the Trials of Osiris feet, the Greaves of the Exile is what they call it. Um, my characters are looking pretty decent, but I still don't have that exotic emblem and I was really butthurt about that. But I do have one more character to do it on, which is the Warlock, which you guys saw that clutch victory on. Um, and yeah, we're going to open it and boom, I get the exotic shader and I get the balls of Osiris, the jewels of Osiris. Oh my goodness. I was so happy. Never been so happy to get the jewels of someone Osiris being specific. Anyways, it's like a fate bringer 365. So cool. Anyways, guys, there you guys have it. I am so pumped. Trials of Osiris was a beauty. This whole expansion was a beauty. Shout out to Bungie. I know everyone was so butthurt because there's no raid, but they really came through in my opinion. Thank you so much, Bungie, for, for such a great experience with Destiny. It really is a great outlet. And thank you guys so much for watching this. I'll be having tons of more tutorials, and I have tons of Prison of Elder tutorials on my channel. If you haven't subscribed, beatbox that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.